Oh, it seems like our main character hasn't forgotten about his own death flag, so it's finally brought up after a couple episodes now? Why, I'm shocked. Why, why bring it up now? I mean, seriously. Anyways, this episode, yeah, it was very boring. Let's put it that way, okay? So we had nothing but a competition of just a race. It was just freaking drawn out the entire episode, and all we had was melodrama from our main character. Like, I'm gonna die. I shouldn't exist. Oh, everybody's gonna feel bad without me. Just the standard main male character that we see in a lot of different anime like this when they're put in this situation, and there's nothing that's really making our main male character stand out as an awesome person of this anime season. So, so far... I do not like her main male character because she's just over dramatic saying I shouldn't exist because freaking I'll cause them problems. I've been causing them problems. I'm just thinking like, oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Just to everything, it was just a little bit of annoyance in this episode. I'm not going to lie. I still believe that Meg is a girl. The, the way they're just showcasing that trap, it just it looks freaking like a girl. I mean... Why the hell? Why the hell does it look like Meg has better animation and better, like, animation features on her than the other main female characters of this series? Why are they focusing more extra attention onto Meg? Why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? Just, okay, so besides that, this episode... Honestly, it was one of the worst episodes yet just because it, it told us the obvious about the plot, okay? I mean, I already guessed around episode 2 that the plot is going to center around each individual chess piece. We'll have the clerk, you know, not bishop, stuff like that. He's going to have to find every individual piece to be able to stop himself from dying, which was obvious. We already came to that conclusion in episode 2. So, this episode, honestly, even with the plot drop that confirmed it, it was still... It was useless. It really was. I mean, okay, we found out that he needs to find every individual girl in school, which I already talked about, and he has to get them all together to stop his inevitable death. But, once he does, he'll be able to learn the secret of the world. So, so, yeah, I mean, what really, what else did this episode do besides having a trap on the screen, having freaking just cliche antics that was not funny at all, and then just, you know, all around... Just boring. Honestly, th this episode was one of the bo most boring episodes I have seen yet of Kanojo Ga Flag. I just, I didn't like it at all. I mean, it's not bad quality as Data Live or something like that, but this, this just, I don't know, just something about it's just not sitting right with me because it's just very cliche and it's the standard type of thing you see from a rom com harem. And y even the comedy elements are not that funny to me. It's not. A lot of the comedy, uh, the Meg comedy is already stale. It's already stale now. I'm tired of it. I, you don't need to showcase Meg almost every freaking single minute of the show and then make her animation quality or his animation quality so much better than the female characters. Just overall. Didn't like it. So tell me your thoughts on this episode of Kano Joe Got Flag. Did you think it was good? Did you think it was bad? What was your overall your opinions of this episode? And if you enjoyed it, please let me know also in the comments. I love you all so much. Please be safe and Chibi out.